Okay, heard to take a look. Asking for you. Looking for help. Let them down. See what they need. God damn it, this is hopeless. Hey, I'm Dominic. This piece of shit antenna is too weak to reach past the island. We need a signal amplifier to cut through the static. I worked on an antenna at the lighthouse nearby. I'm sure they got an amplifier there. We wouldn't last a minute against those things, but you, think you can get it for us? Yep. All right, excellent. You bring it back as soon as you can. This baby needs some new spark plugs or she ain't going nowhere. Shame, though. It's a hell of a car. A battalion of those freaks wouldn't slow this baby down. So, if you can find me a few necessary parts from any nearby wrecked cars, and we get this ride rolling, I'll let you take her out any time you want. Deal? Yeah. Excellent. You locate those parts. You know where to find me. I heard this scourge. Came from outer space. Can somebody help me with this bloody door? Hey, remember me, mate. I'm the doctor, but I can't do much without medical supplies. The door to the infirmary is locked from the other side, and Anne's in critical condition. You think he can help me break the bloody thing down? Okay. I appreciate it. Go on, then. <laughs> you won't go in there with those things still fucking oh. Take him out! Good on you, mate. Now let me get to work. That's it, then. There's nothing I can do for her. What a bloody disaster. Nothing here at all, is there? We need to think of another way. Will you help me? I need you to locate an ambulance or one of the lifeguard vehicles. Inside, you'll find a paramedic bag with all the necessary equipment in it. I'm pretty sure I saw one by the Diamond Bungalows. Yeah, okay. Without your help, we'd all be six feet under by now. Or bloody walking corpses. Kelly, please. Kelly's worried about her husband, Will, but I think he's probably okay. If you happen to be nearby there, can you see if you can find him? Okay. His name is William. He's about six foot one, black hair, good looking. He's a concierge. He has a friend named Doyle who works in the Diamond District bungalows. I'm thinking maybe he's hiding out there. Uh, I should have gone with James. I ran out in such a rush, I left my necklace behind at the hotel. It's in Bungalow 6, in the silver section. My husband gave it to me. It means a lot to me. I'm offering a reward. Can you help me? Yeah. 
Thank you. Please be careful. An alien infection is what it is. Feeling like these bodies are starting to rot. You smell that? We need to burn them before they start attracting more of these walking dead motherfuckers. Do me a favor. See if you can't get some gas from that station nearby. Ah, okay, what the hell? Okay, good. See if you can find a car. That way you can move more gas. Yeah, that hurt, huh? Oh, great job. Nice. Now just give me a sec and I'll get this bitch running.
happened? He's bleeding. Can you help us? Hey! Uh, hey! Name's Roger, brothers. And this is my wife, Jess. We, we were driving like a bat out of hell when I saw that broke down car. Part of me said, forget about it. But I couldn't. I couldn't do that and live with myself. So we stopped to see if we could help. The driver must have been in, in, in shock or something because he threw himself at us like a crazy guy. I had to, uh, had to kill him. But this was self-defense. I was protecting myself. <laughs> you got to believe me. <sighs> but you know what? He took a bite out of me, man. Shit. I think I got whatever he had. Or rabies. I don't know. Fuck. Who the hell knows? But, but can you get Jess out of here? If I start to lose it, I, I don't want to bloody hurt her. Yeah, okay. Hey, man. Thanks. Should take her to the lighthouse. My brother James should be there. He'll take her in. There are people living in the lighthouse? Can't be. I can't believe you're alive. When we left Sinamoy, you looked like... Jesus. Anyway, you better go see the James. I'm sure I'll be surprised as hell to see you still alive and kicking. Follow Thank you. Sure Can you check on my husband? Even better. James will probably want to talk to you first. He's in the back there. You should go talk to him. Talk to James first. James He's the one in charge. The lighthouse. Go see him. Holy shit, you're alive? I'm James. You don't know me, but I sure remember you. Me and Cinnamoy had a slight difference of opinion. He wanted to stay put and wait for help. I wanted to get the hell out of there. So I got the hell out. Now, we're working on setting up the lighthouse to signal for assistance. We sure could use your help. Uh-huh. Now, if you want to get off this island with the rest of us, go talk to my people. See what you can do to help, okay? Hey. I'm Unlike uh, Cinemoy and his crew, we're not content to sit in our butts and hope that uh, help's on its way. We're more proactive, you know? Farther up the coast, there's a couple shipwrecks. The result of that monsoon that came through. I'm thinking they might have supplies, including signal flares. When help finally does get here, like maybe the military, we need a way to let them know where we are. You interested in a little salvage work? Copa said it. Good. And when the help finally does get here, and we get their attention, I guarantee a first spot on the chopper.
Her name's Linda. She got beat up pretty bad out there. I don't even know how she managed to make it here. Probably made it on sheer adrenaline. She needs painkillers and bandages. Can you see if you can find some? Okay. Thank you. There's a racked ambulance on the road to the bungalows and medical supplies in the lifeguard tower. I'm pretty sure you can find painkillers and bandages either place. Maybe there's a rescue car on the beach. Try to worry, okay? She's really suffering. I can't... I was in contact with the pilots of that plane that went down. It was full of passengers, and they said they were making an emergency landing near the edge of the jungle. I lost contact with them after that, but if they landed that plane safely, maybe we can use it to get the hell off this island. Copa said it. Hey, that plane might be our ticket out of here. What the hell? We followed James to this lighthouse so we could send out an SOS signal using the lamp. But there's something wrong with the power. Marcus went to check the two transformers powering the lighthouse, but he's been gone for hours. Someone needs to see what's happened to him and try to get the power back on. Those things can't do to you what they can do to us. Maybe you can help us. Yeah, okay. All right. Good. The Transformers are in the northern part of the Gold Bungalow area. If you can get the power back on, I'll let you into the storage ship. I'm Darwin, by the way. Where the hell did I put that? It's running like a dream. This ride is yours whenever you need it. Yes, this is it. Oh, thank you, thank you so much. Here's the reward I promised. Thank you. Let's see what we got here. Any luck, mate? <laughs> I heard this skirt. Came from outer space. 